Hi, I'm Dr. Carpentier. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about normal pain processing and how that can be useful for developing specific therapies to treat chronic pain. There's much more to experiencing pain than simply hurting your toe, having it pull a string which rings a bell in your brain saying, ouch, that hurt. There's actually a very complex mechanism of pain transmission that begins at the level of the skin. When you do something like bang your thumb with a hammer, you damage tissues, you damage nerve endings, you damage soft tissues such as skin and muscle and even bone. Each of these activities has a consequence. You activate the nerves. The nerves begin to transmit pain signals to the spinal cord. Once the pain signals reach the spinal cord, they're actually modulated, they're changed, they're interpreted, and they're sent to the brain. Once they reach the brain, they're again reinterpreted, and the brain makes decisions about what needs to happen next. A simple action like pulling your thumb away immediately may not happen at the level of the brain at all, but at the level of the spinal cord. That's called a reflex. After you pull your thumb away, you may then grab it. That's not a reflex at the spinal cord level, but it may be a reflex from the brain. Each of these activities has a very specific purpose. You remove your hand from harm's way so that you don't continue to bang on it with the hammer. Or if it's a machine, the machine doesn't just continue to operate on its own and destroy your thumb. You grab it because you can activate a part of the nervous system that suppresses pain with this activity. All of these things are carefully orchestrated in the spine and in the brain. And in a normally functioning nervous system, the pain fairly quickly shuts down. It's important to understand how these different processes work because they give us opportunities for treatment. For example, labor pain, the pain that a woman experiences when she's delivering a baby can be incredibly intense, but it can also be modulated at the level of the spinal cord. We can place an epidural catheter into the spine and we can administer some local anesthetic and we can ease the pain. If you're suffering from central sensitization and you have too much volume on the sensation that you experience, there are certain medications that we can use to suppress that, to reduce the intensity of the pain. By understanding how the nervous system normally works, it will help us understand how to correct problems when they occur. The bottom line is we can target the treatment for your pain. One very well-known example would be a herniated disc causing a pinched nerve with pain in your back and leg. By removing that piece of disc that compresses against the nerve, we can relieve your pain. Morphine works by enhancing the descending inhibitory fibers. What this means is morphine acts like a gate to slow the transmission of pain signals. If we understand why you have pain, if we make the correct diagnosis, we can then figure out what is the best approach to relieve your pain. Again, I'm Dr. Carpentier. I think it's important to understand how the body works normally and why things occur the way that they do so that you can better understand what the problem might be when things go wrong. Something you can do to help me is provide me with good, clear, concise information. Keep a record. I often ask patients to keep a pain diary. Write down what's going on. Try and understand when things happen to you, not just that they happen to you, so that we can better understand where in the nervous system the problem might be coming from. I hope you're feeling better soon.